What's up, everybody? Welcome on back to the channel. Welcome on back to the Empire. We're about to get our stab lappers, or our not stab lappers, our Pokemon lappers. What do we get here? Panpour. Panpour. Little water monkey. We get a little water monkey. We're gonna call you, um. Uh. Dang it. I'm gonna name you Laszlo. But I'm trying to remember the monkey's name from My Gym Partner is a Monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. My gym partner is a monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, let's check out this Pampor. Maybe it'll be something good. All right, Laszlo, what you got for us? Aura break? Okay. It's got skull. If anything happens, Laszlo's probably going to be on call here. Not going to lie. Okay, let's go back and get Venusaur. And then we're going to get the episode going. So in the last episode, we took on the gym leader. We got our Rumble badge. We went up and took on Karina, and we got our Mega, which is Mega Venusaur. And now we're gonna be moving on. I don't know what the next town is, uh, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know how many more gyms we have left either. Is that the fifth? That's only the third gym. Okay, we're our, we have a long way to go still. Holy shnikes, we got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots to go. I know the half, the first half of the game is real like spread out, and then after this, I'm pretty sure from now on it just kind of really picks up. I think it's like gym, 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 and then or like three gyms, and then more than story, and then gyms, and then game's over. Right, and then you go into the elite four. So I don't, unfortunately, because uh, I didn't get stuff done, we're probably not going to get done. Actually, I guarantee we're not going to get done in time for Scarlet and Violet. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, let's go into Frogger for Electros. We got a grass type for this. I don't necessarily want to use Voldemort right now because he's pretty high level. So this charge, the Venusaur, don't paralyze me. 30%. It landed the 30%, ladies and gentlemen. He's a lucky guy. We're going to Razor Leaf here. No, don't go for the acid. It's neutral on me. Frogger. Come on, Frogger. Razor Leaf, no shot! Did you know? Oh my gosh, okay. Pedal Dance. Maybe I shouldn't click Pedal Dance because now I'm going to be locked in if this doesn't kill. I killed it as a crit. Let's go, Frogger! We love to see it, buddy. Nicely done. Way to fight through all that. Way to go, way to go. Abyss is now level 34. Jelly is now level 32. We defeated the Backpacker. We defeated the Backpacker. Oh, uh, we gotta heal up now, though. That's the problem. I don't feel like swimming back for this, so we're just gonna heal this way. And we should have a paralyzed heal right here. Look at that. And Frogger's ready to go. He's ready for some more action. Happy Tuesday, boys and girls and children of all ages. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. My Tuesday, I don't know what I have planned for today, if I'm being honest with you. Softball's over. We won the championship, which is awesome. Um, pretty, I was pretty excited about that. So we win the championship. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what's planned. I don't, I'm going to imagine I'm streaming Radical Red. Um, maybe more recording. I don't know. I'm being honest with you. I don't know what I have planned, but I'm, I'm hoping it's something good. Put it that way. I hope it's something good planned. Mian Fu has Mold Breaker, which means, no, I don't know. We're going to Aerial Ace, though. You faked me out. Why would you? How could you do such a thing? I'm very excited to play Radical Red. I haven't played it, so I'm very curious to see how the game plays and what we do and all this other stuff. I don't know the correct way to play it either, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. We have a Snorlax coming, and we're gonna keep battling. I can never remember Snorlax. Are you physically weak or are you specially weak? We're gonna find out. Ouch! Oh my gosh, dude! You didn't have to do all that to my boy. Come on, Abyss, let's go. We gotta save Blue here. Blue just got eaten up by a big fella. Come on, Abyss. Yeah. Get in there and we're gonna take that body slam this time. Boom, we love it. All right, we're gonna surf here. We just got it, let's try it out. Boom! 
does next to nothing. Snorlax is just a thick boy. He is a thick, thick man. But Scald, it's a little bit less. Maybe we'll get the burn. No burn? You yawned me. We're going to surf again. Um, so from today, we have what? Three days until Scarlet and Violet? Because today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, three days! We're three days away from Scarlet and Violet. For me, I'm still four. But we're three days away. We're almost there to the best Pokemon games ever. We're so close. Open world is going to be awesome. We get Star Raptor. Let's go blue. We love to see it. We get to check out our randomized Star, Star Raptor. Oh, it's going to be so good having one on the team. Um, um, I think he's going to get close combat right here, too. Ow. Look how beautiful she is. What a beautiful bird. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Close combat. Let's go. Uh, let's get rid of Endeavor. I don't plan on using that. Close combat. Now we have close combat, Brave Bird, Aerial Ace. Oh my gosh, this thing is a menace. Huge power, huge power, huge power. Come on, come on, Blue. Okay. Okay. It's, eh. Would've been nice for that stinking uh, Snorlax there. Not huge power, unfortunately. That would've been too good. Too good to be true. All right, now we're gonna switch out blue with Kong. I know blue's got the amulet coin, but I don't feel like taking the time to switch it right now. We're gonna battle this young fella. He's got a swarm of bug type Pokemon. But let me know what you got going on for today or how your day went, realistically. My day, I'm hoping went well. My day today went well. My today, my day today was good. He's a frisky Pikachu. Frisky, frisky boy. We're gonna slash you then. Bang, bang. Bega, bega. So cute. Kong, level 32. Closer to slacking. No. Hey, Bagel. Hey, hey, you fella. You fella. Bagel dog. No. Well, all right. I guess you're fine right now. Nope. Hey. Get out of there. You're no longer fine. Come on. Out from under. Out from back there. Hi, buddy. I know. You want somebody to pay attention to you. I was paying attention to you for like an hour when I got home, buddy. For like an hour. Once once we're done here, we'll get you dinner, okay? We'll get you dinner once we're done. Lately, we're going to stay in. Because we're slashing everything in our path. This time we're going to strength. And we're... You're gonna protect? You're gonna protect? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me, Glalie? Why, why, why would you do this to me? Taking up all my time. That's not very effective. No, it's neutral. We're normal. Ha 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 ha. I love, forgot my typing. Slash. And but Oh, it's gonna hurt. Not really. Just kidding. Slash. You went for protect again for no stinking reason, fella. Come on, boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Sheesh. Okay. You defeated Youngster Aiden. Great. Yep, we've stirred up the hive. Sure have. That's kind of my idea here. Oh, my soul. Is there more of you? There's so many more of you. Why? Can I be done with you guys? I just want to move on. I want to get to the next town. I sound like my kids. My kids in my class are just whiners, man. I hate whining. I want them to be strong. Strong children. Oh, he's got rough skin. Because the world is not fair. And because the world's not fair, I want to teach them that. I want them to become, to get thick skin. Get thick skin, you are ready to fight the world. They're ready to take it on by the horns. Grab it by the horns and shake it and say, I'm gonna make you what I want to make out of it. 
What did Voldemort? Eating it up! Eating it up! Shadow Ball, because that's super effective on you. See you later. See you later. Spoink fainted. Voldemort's almost at 36. We're almost got our superior. Garboder, we're out of here. That's super effective on us. Um, poison. Do we have anything for poison? Poison, poison, poison. We're going to get gunk shotted, I think. And that's going to hurt. And that's going to hurt. So Abyss is going to come out. We're going to go for a serve. Garboder. Luckily, he's not very good. Oh, look at that surf. Let's go. No para. No para. No para, but it was a crit. But I'll, I'll take the crit over the para. All right, Garboder's gone. See you later, buddy. Have a good time, Trash. Not even being not even being mean. He quite literally is Trash. Abyss to level 35. The rest of the team gained XP. Voldemort. Level 36. Coil. Ooh. But it raises attack and defense. No, we're going to get rid of Coil. No, we're going to give up on learning Coil. I would I would love to learn it, but not for attack and defense. It was special attack. Oh, yeah, we would have taken it. We're not going to have Contrary, which kind of stinks. All right, Voldemort, let's see what you got. Maybe it might randomize the contrary, which would be awesome. Watch my luck. It's going to be a huge power now. And we just got rid of Coil to up it again. <laughs> Voldemort evolved into Superior. Superior. What do we got here? Let's check out our freshly evolved Voldemort. No warning. When we're minus special attack anyway. Ah, oh, no! And up defense. Oh, what am I doing? Coil would have been so good for us. Coromine City. I think we have to meet him at, like, meet Professor Sycamore somewhere. Am I wrong here? Oh, battle in front of the gym. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Voldemort might have to go. <laughs> Voldemort might be might be leaving the team today. And not for Panpour, because we already have three two other water types and we don't need a third. Um but with that ability, I don't see how it how he helps us anymore. And he's up defense minus special attack. I don't I don't see the benefits of it. So Dude, can I get to the Pokemon gym here? Do I get to take the train across? Is that really where I gotta go? Yes. Let's just think more. Why, hello, I seen. Congratulations! I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and trainer is the key to this new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? And why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else. Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point, indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Oh, that's right. I came here to give you this. Hey, we get Fly. Look at that. Hot diggity. Sweet. Use the HM Fly to pop right over to Pokemon centers of places you've already visited. Well then, Austin, Dianta, I hope to see you both again soon. Bonds, they really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people and Pokemon. Oh, never mind me. I'm just battling about my own things. Let's have a battle the next we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yep, we're riding the monorail. Gotta get to the other end of the town. Gotta go to the other side. Gotta go check it out. See the view. See what's going on here, see? 
Where did Bagel go? I don't know where he went. What is this? What do you want here? Oh, we got a metronome. The more times we use a move, the stronger it gets. What's these girls doing? Pokemon or monorails? Uh, Pokemon? I'm not even wasting my time with you, no. Uh, so she wants a battle in front of the gym. Let's see, what can we... Oh, we got a randomized Mart here! I'm so upset that you're modest, and I'm so upset that you're adamant. Why do you both have to be just... Oh, why can't we just swap you? I already have too many water types. Yeah, mask though? It's got simple. He is bulky. Do I get another bulky ghost type like last, like our last run? Or do I just grab diamond back? Maybe we'll just grab diamond back. Gwen is just too weak, I think. Um well, we just grab Jerry. Um, how do we evolve your mask, right? I've never used a uh, Copagrius. Do evolve. Does he just level up? I know in Sword and Shield it's like a certain, like you gotta be, do some weird stuff. Level 34 is when he evolves. Copagrius, huh? Actually has 95 base special attack. Oh. Got like no HP. But uh Okay. For now, you're gonna have to go in the box of Voldemort. Snow warning really hurts you. Storm drain wormadam, huh? Wow. Uh lax tentacle. Now Tennessee. I don't know. I didn't know I named you Tennessee, if I'm being honest with you. Maybe because Tennessee beat George. Is that what I is that why I did that? Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, what's in this Pokemart? Helix Fossil. Being in a new Pokemon. I got Papa Berry. Uh, an Escape Rope. We already have one of those. And this should be the normal Mart, right? Should be. Yep. Oh, we can get some Ultra Balls now. If I... No. No, no, no. Ten of them. Ten. Get the bonus. Oh, or we're not gonna get a bonus. Okay. Let's get hyper potions. Oh, we already have enough of those. Super potions. Let's buy six more of these guys. Alright, now we're out of here. Now let's go take on Serena. We'll end the we'll end off the episode by taking on Serena. How's that? And next episode we'll take on another gym. Here we go. I'm sorry I'm late. All right, here we go. He wants to see us use Mega Evolution, huh? You got a Charmander. I'm not sending in Venusaur with a Charmander. We got Kong in here, though, and Kong is going to hit Slash. And this is going to hurt. Scary Face is going to lower my speed. Lower the speed. Slash it up. Oh, Flame Burst. Oh, it was so, most, so bad. Wow. All right, Frogger, you're coming now. Wow, I could rephrase that better. You're coming out to the battle now. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried about an Ice Beam. We're gonna Mega Evolve and we're gonna Razor Leaf you. Because I don't want to be locked into Petal Dance. Went for Aqua Jet, okay? Now I'm, you can use Aqua Jet all the time. Woo! That Razor Leaf hurt! Oh yeah, it's gonna hurt even more now! Not really, but it's gonna knock you out now. All right, so you got to see Mega Evolution. Darkrai. Yeah, we're going to keep... We're going to stay in. Now, now we'll go for Petal Dance, because I don't think there's anything Darkrai can do to us. I think he's going to disable Razor Leaf anyway. Yep. Worked out in our favor that we switched. 
He lands the hypnosis and puts us to sleep. Wow, you're unfortunate. We became con now we're confused. Wow, that's uh, what a turn for you, Darkrai. All right, well, we're going we're going to go into blue now. Faint attack, that should do not much. Oh, it did more than I thought. Oh, but the iron barbs kicks in and you go down, Dark Cry. See you later, buddy. Blue's ability comes in clutch. Who'd have thunk it? Blue to level 35. Frogger to 34, nice. Rest of the team, Shelly to 33, we love it. Diamond to 34, we love it. Kong to 33, we love it. Almost everybody, it's, it's like the Oprah Winfrey show. You get a level, and you get a level, and you get a level, and you get a level. Oh, I know slacking is coming out. Uh, coming closer. Slacking is almost there. All right, we're going to go heal up at the Pokemon Center. It should be about... Nope, not here. Not down that far, then. It's got to be here. Yeah, right here. Okay, so we'll go here. We're going to heal up. And we're going to call it for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join the family. Join the empire. Together we shall rule the galaxy. Have a great rest of your day. And may the force be with you. Always. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. However, I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about something that is very important. This channel was made to have a great time playing video games. But there's so much more than that. This channel was made to show Jesus Christ to an audience... They may not ever hear how great he truly is. Jesus Christ loves you so much he gave up all of heaven just for you. He came here, was born in a stall. His first breath was of manure. He lived a perfect life for 33 years and then died on a cross just for you. He died even for those that put him there. After three days he rose again and now he is in heaven waiting for the right time to call his children home. Contrary to popular belief, not everyone is a child of God. I would like to give you the opportunity to become one. Hell is a real place. It's a terrible place. It's a place filled with fire, gnashing of teeth. It's an eternal darkness, an eternal separation from God, and I don't want any of you to go there. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 and verse 10, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. It's a pretty easy verse to understand. Nobody is perfect, and everyone has done something wrong in their life other than Jesus Christ. The Bible goes on to say in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The payment for us doing things wrong is to die. I'm sure glad that verse doesn't end there, though. It goes on to say that the gift of God, not from God, the gift of God, he gave himself. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So how do we get saved? Jesus died for us. He loves us. So what do we have to do? Do we have to give money? Do we have to do uh, 55 push-ups, 500 push-ups? Do we have to uh, be a good person? No. We can never be good enough. We can never give enough money. We can never be baptized enough times. We can never do any of these things that the world tries to tell us. Jesus Christ made it as easy for us as possible. He did all the hard work. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm sure glad I don't have to give money to get to heaven, because I don't have a whole lot of it. I'm sure glad that I don't have to be good, because I can never be good enough. I'm sure glad I don't need to be baptized. The thief on the cross that died with Jesus, it's not like the Roman soldiers let him off to dump him in water and then bring him back up and nail him again. No. All we have to do is believe in Jesus Christ to get to heaven. That's that's it. That's how we get saved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That whosoever is you. That whosoever is me. That whosoever is the worst person we could possibly think of. Jesus Christ died and paid for everything. Anybody can be saved. It doesn't matter what your past is. It doesn't matter what you're doing now. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going to do. Jesus Christ died for you knowing all of that and still says, just believe in me and you get to go to heaven. 
I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And it's not the prayer that saves you, but it's believing that in Jesus Christ, that he's the only way to get to heaven. That's how you get saved. But the prayer, we call it the sinner's prayer. And it goes something like this. And if you would like to be saved, you can say this uh, out loud. You can say it in your head. You can say it right from where you're at. You don't have to be in a church to say it. You can be anywhere. The prayer goes something like this. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross just for me. And Jesus, the best way I know how, I'm asking you to come into my heart, to save me from all my sins, and take me to heaven when I die. Jesus, I don't know everything, but I'm believing in you the best that I know how. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me, for dying for me, and for saving me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you believe that, you are now saved and a child of God. That is awesome. It's wonderful. It's going to be great to be able to spend an eternity in heaven with you where there's no more death, no more pain, no more suffering, no more goodbyes. It's a wonderful place filled with people that all love God and that accepted Christ. The Bible goes on to tell us in 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 through 13, and this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. See, Jesus doesn't want us to question whether we're going to heaven or not. He wants us to know it. He puts a stamp of a guarantee on it. You can't trust really anybody on, your, on their word anymore, but you can trust Christ. He's never lied to you. He's never messed up. He's never made a mistake. He put a stamp of approval. You may know that you have eternal life, and this life is in the Son. So if you accepted Christ as your Savior today, man, I'm rejoicing for you. All of heaven is celebrating. The Bible tells us that all of heaven rejoices over one sinner that repenteth. I sure would like to know that you got saved. Whether you leave a comment or if you want to contact me personally on Twitter, uh, at Skyworker, that would be great to just get to know that you accepted Christ as your Savior. I would love to be able to rejoice with you and to help you along your along the way if I can. Thank you guys so much for listening to this, and I hope you did accept Christ your Savior today. God bless.